What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to another Watcher of Realms video, <laughs> Watcher of Realms. And today we are going to be doing something pretty important. So I really want to put out a guide on Gear Raid 3. I actually want to do all of the Gear Raids. Um, I know not all of you on this channel are interested in Watcher of Realms. Um, but the reason why these gear raids are so important is because it's all about the gear. It's all about getting the absolute best gear that you can. And this is the way to do it by passing all the gear raids. So uh, we're going to go a bit back to front. We're going to start off with gear raid three and work our way backwards through the series. So today we're going to be looking at gear raid 318 to start with. Why 18? Well, there's a very good reason for that. Um, so gear raid uh, from 17, you can get mythic gear, I think maybe 16 as well. Sorry for like putting my finger right in your face. Um, but yeah, you can get some mythic gear starting off earlier, but they are super duper rare. Um, and stage 18 is the first stage where you get mythic gear guaranteed. And you also have a chance of getting the ancient mythic gear. Now you do get the mythic gear from the specific sets that are shown below. Um, so these ones, the Acepolis, the Doom, etc., uh, where you get certain bonuses. And at stage 19 onwards, you get the red and yellow gear. Um, and gear A3 is probably going to give you some of the best gear in the game. The Infernal Raw set is insane. Um, and the Soul Battle Arcana is just freaking mind-blowing. Uh, but we will get to that when we look at gear A19. Uh, 319 so for now it's going to be 318 and um, I'm going to try and give you guys the easiest way to do this so if we go into my team you are going to need some heroes but to be honest guys if you haven't played this game for very long um, if you're just starting out these heroes do come pretty easy honestly like getting heroes in this game is not a problem uh, getting the gear that's the problem and that's where the grind comes in so getting the heroes pretty damn easy. Uh, so the first hero and probably really important uh, for gear raid three, we do have a Lord. Uh, we've got Lanaria here. Uh, she's mainly there for the Lord bonus. As you'll see, I'm not even going to use her um, as I'm not even going to place her on the field. Uh, she's just there for this Lord bonus that she gets uh, where she increases her faction team members range. So she increases everybody's range by a single tile. And that's super important. Uh, as you'll see a bit later. So that's enough said about Lanaria. Actually, don't worry if you don't have a Lord from this faction because good news, guys, uh, there is going to be another Piercer Lord coming very, very soon. We don't know exactly when, um, but there is another Piercer Lord coming to the game. So uh, she is going to be absolutely brilliant from what I hear, um, and she'll probably be better than Lunaria. And she'll still give you the same Lord bonus. So don't worry. She will be available as part of a, I think it's a shard event, um, and the epic shard events are really pretty easy to complete. Okay, let me not talk too much. Um, so we've got Idril in here, the sexy costume for Idril. Um, she is essential uh, for this stage because of her ultimate where she just hits everybody on the field. If you don't have her and you haven't leveled her by now, you absolutely need to. I mean, honestly, just a freaking awesome hero. Um, we do have Comet in here. Now, Comet's pretty hard to obtain, um, but there are loads of other AoE mages that you could use. You could use Iona. Uh, you could use a bunch of other AoE mages to do the same job. Even some archers, even somebody like Kai, um, who I know everybody hates, but for Gear Raid 3, he's insane. Uh, but Comet's just there to sort of control the right-hand side for us. Normally, you wouldn't even use a mage for this stage, but... You know, any AoE mage will do as long as he can hit airborne targets because this gear raid 3 is all about airborne targets. Um, next guy we've got in our team is Vortex, also a readily available um, epic, but really, really great healer and just provides some shields uh, for everybody. Uh, next to him, we've got Hatsit. Now, um, again, she's a pretty difficult to obtain hero, but you can use other options. The reason I want to show Hatsit here is that she is coming in, I believe, this weekend summons as a 15x uh, chance to pull her. So there's a really, really high chance you can get hold of Hatsit. Um, so if you are holding on to some gems 
um, I would definitely recommend going hard for Hatset because she is just an insane, insane hero for a lot of different gear raids. I mean, gear raid three is probably the place where I think she shines the most. Uh, but, you know, personal opinion, um, there are other gear raids, which is absolutely excellent as well uh, at as well. Um, and then another essential hero will be Dolores. Um, Dolores is there for her. Um, what do they call it now? Her inspiration. So basically, it's just a massive attack boost. Um, if you don't already know by now, she increases uh, attack proportionally to her own attack. So you want to build her with as much attack and attack speed as possible. Um, and she just she's she's just absolutely insane and works so well alongside Idra in this stage, as you're going to see in just a moment. Um, now I've got Elowen in here as well. Elowen is again a pretty hard to obtain hero. I don't even think I've had her geared out. I, I have do been doing runs with her, not even having a single piece there. You can see, I mean, she does have uh, legendary gear. If I just quick equip her with something, look, I don't even have that leveled. I'm just going to leave it as is uh, because it's really not necessary. She's not max skilled, um, but she's just there to do healing. And the main reason I've got her in here instead of an epic is because the epic I want, uh, which is hollow, I just cannot get. So if you do have hollow, uh, you can absolutely use her in... in um, Elowen's place. Uh, but that being said, you could also use somebody like uh, Medan. Uh, you could use Medan. Um, or you could use, I mean, you could use pretty much any healer as long as they have enough range uh, for this battle. Um, and then finally, last but not least, my boy Maul. Maul is insane. If you do manage to get him awake in five, it's really worth using your soul stones on this guy or duplicate copies because it reduces his cost by five, as you can see there. So he goes from being 22 cost to being 17 cost. And that is really, really important. And that is our team uh, for Gear Raid 318. So let's get into it. I'm sure you guys can't wait. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so um, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to place Idril right there. Um, and then we are going to Oh, actually, sorry. I'm just going to restart because <laughs> I wanted to place her on the opposite side. Uh, it's in 19. I place her on the other side. So we're going to place Idril first and then we're going to place Dolores right below her. So she's within range. Um, when Hartset becomes available, I'm going to place her up here as well. But like I say, you can use any ranger for that spot uh, where Hartset is. Um, she doesn't even benefit from Linaria's um, extended range. So... <sighs> It's, it's really six of one and half, half a dozen of the other. So if you look down just below me, uh, you can see that we've got Idril charging up and we've got Dolores charging up at the same time. Uh, when Idril hits 100%, we're going to wait for the Dolores to get to 95. And then if I hit Idril, Dolores charges immediately and I just fire them both off at the same time. Okay, so now you can see Idril's doing her thing. She's just taking down enemies left, right, and center. Um, and that is what we like. <laughs> um, and then we've got the, the boss enemy coming in. Uh, now I just want to pause for a second here. So we are going to build up some cost now. Um, but the way it works is with this boss, um, he basically targets the last enemy that you put down. Um, so either you want to make sure the last enemy you put down is a healer, or you want to make sure that there's enough healing in place so that that boss doesn't kill that enemy. Uh, it will matter a lot more in 19, uh, but in 18 it matters, but not quite as much. Unless, I mean, obviously you're pushing for the first time, it's going to matter. Every little thing is going to matter. And that's what makes this game so fun. So <laughs> anyways, let's get to it. Uh, so we're going to build up some cost now. Uh, nothing really desperate happening at the moment. So you can see that she's just fired off for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and place Vortex right there. And I also am going to put down, actually I shouldn't have put him down there. I'm going to put down Comet over there. I mean, that's the right position. It's just maybe not in the right order. Um, and then I want to put Elowen down. So she's going to go over there. Um, and then I'm going to wait and build up some cost because Maul is going to be placed on the left hand side. And that's, he's literally going to be the last hero that we play. So we're not even going to place Linaria, as I said before. Um, so there we go. Maul is ready. So we'll place him over that side. 
Um, and then we are, I'm just going to wait uh, for the ultimates. I don't want to be in a rush to fire things off, uh, but basically it's all about crowd control. So you want to control the crowds coming in from the left and the right, and then you need enough power down the middle that you can just basically deal with them. Um, so as these guys start coming forward, you'll see Comet starts to hit um, and they pause again. So you can fire off his ultimate. He's going to do some serious damage. Maul, he's going to take on the left hand side. I mean, look at that. Just wipes everyone out. Um, and then we've got Idril and Dolores, the ultimate team, uh, just ready to go and just wipe out those central enemies there. And all the while, um, Elowen and uh, Vortex are doing their job. There we go. There's Vortex. His shield's going up and Elowen is... She's also providing rage regen, um, but it's not that big of an issue. Like I said before, if you don't have Elowen, don't worry too much. Uh, you can use another healer um, for that. It's just nicer if they provide the rage regen. So you want to fire off more when they're waiting over there. Um, and then you can see this time, I think it's this time, as they come forward, um, Comet may or may not be up to full charge. Um, but that's why we are holding on to Hutsut. Um, So here they come, and uh, this is the power of Hutsut. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. It just melts them all away. And that is it. I mean, they're all down. Um, Maul is ready to go. Got to take care of those two guys coming in. <clears throat> I think Idril will probably be able to finish them off, to be fair. He's getting a bit close. That little dead eye one in the middle. There we go. Get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. I, I freaking missed him, but I could have I could have so easily had him. I'm so sorry. Uh, but that little guy in the middle, you've got to just watch out for. I mean, you might have to play this a couple of times to three star it. Um, but for the most part, we're doing pretty damn well. Damn. Can't believe I missed him. I had so much specials that I could have hit. I just... Freaking froze there for a second. Um, and then last but not least, we are just going to wipe these guys out with Hutset. And that is it. So we'll call it a day. I mean, we only two started there because we let one little dude come through. Um, but I hope you get the gist of it. We could, you know, we could just as easily have, have three started. it. Um, and I'm sure that you will if you follow that process. Um, and if you set up a team relatively similar, it doesn't have to be the exact same heroes, but I hope that, that helps uh, with the concept. Um, and hopefully you guys will be passing Gear Raid 318 in no time. Um, and uh, I'll be able to put out my next video on Gear Raid 319. So I'll look to, um, depending on how things go with Watcher of Realms on the channel, uh, whether I'm whether I'm going to carry on putting out these videos on the on the X Empires and Puzzles only channel, um, or whether I'll move over to the Watcher of Realms channel, I don't know. I'd like to be able to put out both on the same channel. Hopefully, you guys find it useful, and maybe just a little bit of a change, a bit of spice in the life, um, and a bit of a change to another game every now and then is not such a bad thing. Uh, but with that being said, um, yeah, please do drop us a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, looking forward to this new journey and watch of realms with all of you guys. And um, yeah, peace out. See you again next time. Bye for now.